And back now to the cabinet reshuffle. One of the biggest surprises was Nanaya Mahuta being handed the portfolio of Minister of Foreign Affairs. She will be the first woman ever to hold the role in New Zealand. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern praised Ms Mahuta's ability to build strong relationships quickly, which will be key on the world stage. Nanaya Mahuta is with us now. Kia ora. Kia ora, Morina. Congratulations, making history, the first woman in the role and indeed Wahine Māori. What to you is the significance? Well, look, the Prime Minister's been very clear in reshaping Cabinet for this time is that we are focused on a recovery that takes all New Zealanders forward and as we develop our relationships globally, uh, it's very much focused on how we can do things uh, differently uh, and with a view in mind that as a small country, we have the capacity to lead out on that point of difference. Uh, and the recovery in a COVID context means that we want more people to thrive, for the benefits to go deeper into regional economic development, but also focus our capacity on what we can do to carve out market share in a trade context in some very new areas. I think the Prime Minister's um, made it really clear to each and every one of us who have uh, uh, got a new responsibility that she absolutely wants us to work collectively, uh, wants us to focus uh, very much on uh, how we can uh, drive the implementation for the recovery and improve the relationships uh, that we have, not only domestically but internationally as well. So you want um, to take quite a, different, to quite a different view, quite a different take on foreign affairs in that case. Were you surprised to be offered the role? And indeed, have you been surprised at how your appointment has been received in some quarters? Look, I was hugely honoured to be offered the role. It's it's the uh, position that um, some ministers really uh, uh, can only dream of and um, very few ministers have uh, attained the, the, the opportunity to be able to steward through uh, the foreign affairs uh, conversation space that can lead New Zealand into different uh, into a different space. I think I can do that uh, in a different way. I think that we have the capacity now as a uh, small nation to drive out uh, different types of solutions. Much of that has been vested in our uh, indigenous perspective and how it's, how we've been able mm. to uh, do things differently domestically. Take that into the international fora, but also. Undoubtedly, as a small country, our relationships matter. Take it. So in, a COVID, in a COVID context, when you can't travel, it's going to be really important to maintain those lines of communications and relationships in a very different way. Take us inside that conversation between you and Jacinda Ardern as much as possible. What was that like? Did you ask for this role? Did she offer you the role? And, and if so, what was your reaction? Oh, look, to be fair to the Prime Minister, she's got an enlarged caucus based on the significant mandate that New Zealanders gave us to govern. And she was looking through the skill set of the whole caucus. And you can imagine that took her uh, quite a lot of time uh, to see where people could offer uh, their their uh, skills uh, and effort and passion uh, towards the objectives of the government. And she uh, certainly, uh, in, for my part, like many others, asked us, you know, what our interests and passions were. I had the opportunity to be Minister of uh, Local Government, Associate Trade, uh, Associate Housing, Associate Environment, Māori Development uh, in the previous government. And I mapped out, I believe, um, uh, a set of achievements, Mm. but also a set of aspirations. And on balance, she took that into account and I was offered uh, the portfolios that I have. Do you think people have underestimated you? Oh, look, I'm not so worried about what uh, people think of me. I'm actually uh, very focused on what uh, I can achieve as a part of a team that is committed to a recovery uh, and committed to taking New Zealanders forward. On the foreign affairs front, I think more and more Mm. New Zealanders are wanting to understand at a broader level how we all benefit from deepening our foreign Mm. affairs uh, presence across the globe. and and how those relationships translate to real benefits back here in New Zealand. Nanaya Mahatu, thank you very much.